There's a bear. A huge bear. It's huge. Nick is going back. It's beautiful. We saw a bear. And it's so crazy. Don't get too close. This is Next Meridian. We are Nick and Mathilde and we left everything behind to travel the world with our Land Rover Defender Albatross. Three years, seven continents, 88 countries and just the road as a home. Last week we explored Banff and Yoho National Park and did a lot of hiking. And despite all of that time on the trails, no luck with seeing bears again. This week, as we continue our way up north in the Rockies, all the way up to Jasper, we are on a mission. We will not leave the area without seeing a bear. But not any bear. We want to see the legendary grizzly. And that will not be easy. This is the campsite of tonight. We're outside the national parks because we're moving up north to Jasper. So we can wild camp again. And this place is cute because we have a nice river. Nick is on a little expedition of his own. Can you explain me what you're doing exactly? I'm looking for the bears with the drone. Staying very high up though, because I don't want to bother them or scare them. But if I can see some, that'd be crazy. Because we're searching the bears and we still can't see them. Chattanooga boy had a dollar and a dime Headed out for Nashville on the hard rock line I'm working on that old steamboat and learned to run And that was just another failure to see bears. We decided to continue up north to Jasper National Park. getting pretty fancy at making lunch on the side of the road. We are now on a lemon risotto, which I think it's just a bit higher than the normal like sandwich that we do. Pretty proud of ourselves. We just crossed into Jasper! Yay! And it looks awesome! On the way, we pass by the Icefields Parkway. It deserves its name. The winds are cooler, the rivers bluer, the landscapes are more intense. Everywhere you look, columns of ice are melting in slow motion from the mountain passes. cool and there's the snow cap it's like continuing on all the top of those mountains looks like a icing on a cake so pretty do you like it i do Very nice. do you like chips yeah those marks here give the dates at which the the glacier was so now it was 1925 and it was just here and see where's the glacier now so now we had 1925 we're going to look for the next one I see it over this one, this one is 1935 1942 That's
this is what we're having for dinner vegetables with uh, butter chicken some rice and we do have the nun so it's going to be really cool and we do have the view on the whole glacier so it's actually pretty cold we are wearing big jackets and uh, at least it is sunny and then we're going to have a tea with the guy owning the black caravan his name is Jerry of people turning in run to find a spot <sighs> and we found one immediately yeah and it's a day and I'm looking at the vide like that so I'm like they're hating us right yeah. now like proper hate but we are very happy <laughs> <laughs> yeah. do you think this could be like bear marks? I don't know. Looks very sharp. Looks like. Ah. Do you think? Yeah, I don't know. Plus, it looks like it was scrubbing itself because all the bark is gone. Yeah. Hmm, interesting. Nice. Let's go find a bear. That's the closest thing we've seen to a bear. Maybe it's not even a bear. We did it. So. <laughs> Check out this glacier. Wow, look at this. And up here is 3.4 kilometers up of altitude. Nice. But you can only go up if you're rock climbing. every time we wanted to wild camp in Jasper. It's not allowed in the park. And one of those days, as we were leaving the area, along the side of the road, we saw someone we follow, not in the best of the situations. Well, bah, Max, Morgan, who are all in Transalpes, they a grand voyage. And we're here, and Max... This is what happened, they broke their chain and they're contemplating on what to do. Au moins t'as un poste, tout le monde sait que t'es passé par là. C'est ça. Je vais mettre à côté de la Vierge. Ouais, putain, c'est là où je le mets aussi. C'est drôle, vous faites la même chose. Vous êtes pas de pote pour rien. Comment ça se passe Vous avez la protection divine comme ça. Ok, toi tu l'as mis à droite, lui il l'a mis à gauche. Ça, ça m'étonne pas de Plaque d'immatriculation française. Ouais. C'est très important. Si t'as pas une plaque d'immatriculation française, tu n'as pas le respect de tes contemporains. D'accord, ok. Donc voilà. Alors, la moto se disait comme ça. Là, j'ai le top case 1 dans lequel j'ai euh, tente et sac de couchage. Comme moi je suis frileux, j'ai deux sacs de couchage. J'en ai ah oui, un okay. quand j'ai froid et j'en ai un quand j'ai très froid. Du coup, je rentre dans les deux. D'accord. Euh, tac. Ça, dis-toi, parce que quand on est en moto, on est vraiment euh, en proie à tout ce qui est euh, la météo. Ça, c'est un sac qu'avec les trucs pour quand il pleut et tout. Genre euh, l'eau froid, genre tu vois, la doudoune quand ouais. il fait froid, euh, la norac pour mettre par-dessus le cuir. Enfin, c'est vraiment... C est, c est T'as une valise entière que pour le surpantalon, euh, les chaussures. Tout ce qui est pour le temps, temps quoi. Si t'as pas. Et voilà, donc là t'as le drone là, les vêtements dans le sac à dos. Voilà, bah nous c'est un peu comme toi. Ça c'est le, les vêtements pour. Euh, 
pour deux ans. C'est j'adore, j'adore. <rire> c'est, c'est encore moins que nous du coup. Ouais. <rire> ah bah oui, il y avait en moto, ah bah là, euh, oui, chaque, bah euh, chaque gramme compte quoi. Mm. Alors, après sur la moto, qu'est-ce okay, qu'on a euh, Bon bah la moto, il n'y a pas grand chose de pas d'origine. De euh, toute façon, elles sont foutues pareil nos deux motos avec Max. On a le sabot, ça je pense que c'est le meilleur investissement qu'on a fait sur nos motos. Tu fais la dumpster highway ou des endroits où il y a plein ouais. de, de, de cailloux et trucs comme ça, tu entends des pong et tu dis ah bah ça c'est 200 balles bien dépensé. <rire> c'est allez, puis alors, le petit bidon d'essence en plus. Parce que ah bah vrai. voilà oui bah c'est sûr. Vous avez combien de litres là en tank Là on a 16 litres. Ouais. Et euh... vous êtes sur du 7 litres au 100 vous avez dit à peu près Ouais 16 litres on fait même pas 200 bornes avec. Mm-hmm. Alors, puis là on a fait tout ça là de, en 6 mois et là bah du coup on est rendu là, là. On est sur le retour la descente euh, l'année prochaine ou cette année plus tard ils partent en Afrique ils vont faire bah, tout l'Est et là, on et puis, descend je... juste là Last morning here at this campsite with the two bikers and uh, these guys are going to fix their chain. Um, They bought the chain but they needed a little tool to sort of pin down the last part of the chain so like a needle that goes through the chain so you could just close it all up together. So today they're gonna do that. They gave us back our recovery cable and uh, we saw our last goodbyes. Nice funny evening full of travel talk, lots of jokes and uh, little games with barbecue and off we go now very nice to meet you max and morgan and thank you for the evening around the fire but as much as we enjoyed this encounter our real mission is still to see a bear so let's refocus on the initial goal we have a serious problem everyone every traveler we met people we knew from before people we met on the road they all have seen a bear like literally everyone or several often several and we despite driving early and late hiking going to the exact same places we didn't see one we took that at heart so tomorrow we'll wake up at five and we'll try to do this road that goes to malin lake and we'll do it back and forth and we'll try to see animals like super early in the morning So right now we're setting up the bed so that we could sleep on the lower level without having to open the roof. And the reason being is that uh, tomorrow morning we want to leave at 5.30 in the morning to go look for animals, hopefully bears. And we're sleeping sort of on this parking lot in Jasper. Set ourselves up uh, at the bottom area and then change parking, close the lights. Just get into the bed and yeah, just wait till tomorrow morning. And I think 5.30 we'll wake up and be gone by 6. So how it works is this flooring from the car can actually be put at this level. And now the mat- the carpet which was on the floor, we put it here as extra cushion and we have an air mattress from our camping. So we're going to put it here and then one of us will sleep here and the other one here. And uh, well, mostly me here just because I'm, I'm longer, so my feet goes past over there the curtains. And Mathilde sleeps here, and uh, there we go. Let's go find birds.
five days on the bear search? Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's about it. There's no bear. We've been on the road for what, 45 minutes? A bit less? And we saw one deer. And Nick saw a crown. Yeah, we found the grizzly finally oh man it's been like so long that we've been looking for him and here he or she is oh this is unbelievable aren't we so happy i'm i'm i cannot we're I cannot so be. happy yeah. oh so good finally everyone saw one except for us and here it is oh man yes On the hard rock line I'm working on that old steamboat I learned to ride and steal When my feet had touched dry land How happy I did feel Saving every penny for to make up through the fall. Working for that dollar, but it never adds up at all. But coming around the river banker, the old train was so sane. The very next thing. We are so happy that we saw the bear. Nick and I were still like talking about it. Now we're going to go for a hike. It's called the Opal Peak and it's so funny at the parking some people were like oh we've heard from the rangers there's a grizzly in the area and we're like we know we found it <laughs> halfway through the hike it's very beautiful out here and it's very early it's, it's around 9 a.m and check out the peak. So we're going to have to walk all the way to the top there. And uh, it's gonna be pretty tough, rough climb, but let's do it. What are you searching? We're on a hike in the middle of Jasper and Nick thinks about eating buffalo wings. It's so good with the uh, blue cheese sauce. Each step we're sliding down a little bit. So you take one step up, you slide half a step. That's my memory of the... Mother! While he's at the summit, the donkey with the bag is still like... 
slowly making your way up. What did you find? A lot of stuff in here. Lighters, pens. <gasps> there is a whole pharmacy uh, bag. Oh, cool. Uh, How's it? The last person that got here are Germans from Hamburg. Got a lot of Christian. This view is amazing. I was about to put this rock down. And look what's up here. Oh gosh, man. Are you trying to be the, the spider who's been on the tallest? peak of the world gosh man you just really decided to go to the top of this mountain well i guess you can sign that booklet too man <laughs> enjoy going back down god you are huge No kidding, best hike so far. It was so nice. All right. <sighs> hike done. Ah, nice. It was great. It was so good. It was actually really one, probably not the best, but one of our top. I think it was the best panorama we got. Yeah. Honestly. It was super nice. So now we're just hiking a little bit and then we're gonna go have lunch by the lake maybe because we still haven't seen the lake and i think we're gonna see another grizzly i think we saw grizzly for the next 10 years mission accomplished it's over the moon that we left jasper with a memory we will for sure never forget it's time to move up north but when i say that I mean real north. We're going to Alaska. And next week we're meeting up with two other defenders to drive as a convoy over there. So subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss the rest of the journey. Olives. Beautiful view. And perfect laziness. Little trash bag. And when I'm done with the olive, there we go. Research and development. <laughs> if anybody wants the same, the same lifestyle, just let us know. <laughs> Productivity. Yeah, he's applying everything he learned at school. <laughs>